Hi, my name is Carl Goode, and I'm going to show you how to make a map in Adobe Illustrator CS4. It's not a whole lot different in other versions of Illustrator, um, so the principles here are all going to apply. What I'm going to do and break it up into, spart into parts, this will be part one, which I'm going to show you how to uh, bring in a map, resize it, and layer it properly so that you can find things. And also, um, if you want to import it into a program like Flash, you, can, uh, you want those layers. Uh, uh, separated. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File and Place. I picked out a map on the internet on Google Maps and uh, I'm just going to pick this out here. And so there's a nice little map, uh, too big for my, my drawing service, it, which is my about 8 and a half by 11 in this case. And what I want to do is make it a 4 by 4 inch space right in the middle. And uh, let's say, just like say you're given a size that's 4 by 4, so that's, that's the size I have to work with. So I'm going to click on these this uh, square box here, it's often in points. I, I, I think I already converted this to inches, but I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to click on this box, and then I'm going to click right in the middle of my document. And I'm just going to change this to uh, 4 by 4 inches and say OK. And there's my box. The way you change that if from points to inches you, or pixels or whatever you want, you go up to Illustrator Preferences, and you find units and display performance, and you can change it right there. There's a whole lot of stuff. You can just go previous, 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 to next, 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 and surf, surf through all of those great little uh, preferences that they have for, and you can modify your, your document to be how you like to, to work. So anyway, so now I have this box. It's right in the middle. Um, I'm going to turn this box into a guide now, and uh, that way I'll, I'll know exactly where to fit my map. So. I'm going to come up to view and I'm going to say guides and say make guides or I can do command 5 and you can see that there is a uh, blue line it's kind of hard to see with this image here but let's fix that image so that we can see it I'm going to hit command 0 which will pull me back out if I hold the space bar down you get the hand tool which is over here in the palette the menu too but I can just slide this around rather than scroll with my scroll bars and I like I like to work that way it's, uh, bit easier, a bit faster too. So this map is awfully rich and it's awfully saturated. So I'm going to um, actually go and open up the layers. And you'll see I have done a little work on the layers in advance. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. That was another document. Forget that. I didn't say that. So you can see that I have a layer here. And there's one layer. And there's a map on it. So if I double click on that layer, you can see that uh, it, I can name it here. So I think I'll call it you know, base map. And I can also dim it to 50%. I'm going to go down to 40% and click on dim. And that way it makes it sort of like tracing paper. It's, it was very saturated, so now I'll be able to actually see the line I'm drawing. The last thing I want to do to this map, well, not quite yet. There are a couple of things I was, I'm going to do. Um, I was going to lock it, but first I have to resize it into that shape. If I just grab this corner here and start resizing it, you can see that it, it, it's pretty rubbery and it'll do whatever, it'll go wherever, whatever shape you want it to be. And you can't do that to geography. So I'm going to actually hold the shift key down while I, while I resize this. And you can see that even with the arrow, with my arrow key way out here in the, in the side, it still conforms itself, restrains itself to the proportion of the map by holding the shift key down. Now I'm going to just let go and move it back into place. And you can see my, my blue box is still, um, hold that, sh hold that uh, space bar down and move that hand over again. You can see that there's my light blue box, my guide. And I want to actually bring that bottom right up to the side. I'm sticking out a little bit from the box, but that's okay. I can still see Michigan that's here. Michigan has an upper peninsula, and so I'm, I'm within the boundaries of the box, and that's that's great. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit more so we can see it. And uh, now I can lock my base map layer, and it'll be fine. Uh, by the way, I can also, if I want to, I can see I can, I'm going to, I can actually, I'll move this out of the way. I can actually, uh, lock and unlock that guide by going to view and guides and I can say unlock the guide. Um, not that you really want your guides unlocked, you kind of like them to stay where they are, but that way you can adjust the guide if you wanted to. So I'm going to go back to view, guides, and lock those guides and uh, move move my map, map back into place. So I'm going to make a few more layers. There's that layer. I'm going to lock that layer. I'm going to come down here to this little pad down here, uh, this little icon that says more, it's a new layer pad. And uh, I'm going to click like six more layers. One, two, just clicking. Three, four, five, six. Maybe that's enough. On the first layer, I'm going to write the word lakes. Double-clicked on that layer and opened up this window. 
Um, next one, I'm going to call it uh, Michigan. I'll separate Michigan from its neighboring states. I'll call the other one other states. I could call one Canada because we have Canada up here, but I'll skip that. And I'm going to call this one uh, uh, City Dots. And you can put as much detail in, into this as you want, uh, depending on your reference. And I'll call this last one. Oh, no, I'm going to add one more. I'm going to call this one labels, like city labels and state labels. And I'm going to do one more and call that roads. So that's a lot of layers there. And I'm, I'm re I've set this up. I'm really glad it's set up. Now I can separate everything. You put all of this junk onto one layer, and it really becomes a, a nightmare. And you wind up using this select key, select same you select a, a line like if all the roads are white you select select the same stroke color and it'll select all your roads and then you can move it to the same layer or group them so it's not a disaster if you're all in one layer but it does make it kind of uh, cumbersome and a pain to work that way so I'm going to now uh, stop and go on to part two part two I'm going to show how to um, draw Michigan using this pen tool over here uh, it uses it draws Bezier curves, which is you can look that up. Bezier curves is French, and uh, we're gonna I'll show you some of the pitfalls of the Bezier curve that you'll appreciate. So signing off. See you in part two.